blockchain, right? So you are a blockchain developer and uh, blockchain uh, needs the development development language uh, solidity. Yeah. So how did you get yourself up to speed with that? What were the challenges to, you know, when you were learning solidity? So, yeah. How did so, it, how um, did it go? for sure, uh, mm-hmm. honestly, like, um, from the start only, I gained my ex- expertise in EVM based blockchains and, uh, I usually just coded in solidity and it is a really, really, uh, easy language to learn for beginners. I mean, even if you're started, if you're, if you're starting, uh, you know, your journey in programming, so you can start with solidity easily because it's like, uh, it's really easy to understand. It's very user friendly, uh, as compared to the languages. So okay. I started with that and uh, like there are many courses out there. The Like one of my favorites is Crypto Zombies. Uh, so yeah, it has a really great way of uh, teaching Solidity and you can just, you know, go through the tutorials. It actually lets you develop a game and a zombie game. So it's, it's fun to use and okay. it's quite engaging. And meanwhile, you can just, you know, create some um, side projects with YouTube tutorials. There are many hands-on tutorials on YouTube available. So yeah, that helped me like just uh, speed my journey into Solidity. And um, yeah, it was it was just fun learning it. Lovely. So interesting. And um, yeah, so after Token Music, how, how long did you spend with the organization? And what was your next step towards progressing into this space? So uh, with Token Music, I worked uh, for a year. So it was like around, uh, it ended in uh, June 2022. And uh, meanwhile, I was also working uh, as a freelancer for some startups, like for two, three months. And um, then I started working with uh, Calyptus, which is an edtech platform for senior engineers. So like their main focus was to educate uh, uh, engineers who have already like four plus uh, years of experience in the tech space. So, okay. yeah, I mean, tech space, you say Web2 space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Web okay. to space. Mm-hmm. So, um, like, uh, it was a like it's it's actually according to statistics, there is a great demand for senior engineers rather than uh, freshers. So, um, and yeah, like you know, senior engineers because they have already like you know spent four years in some space, so it's hard uh, to you know just convince them. So you, they need a push to transition into some uh, other space to check out that. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of opportunities for them out there. So like, yeah, there were uh, our main goal was to uh, push them and educate them in the easiest possible way uh, about blockchain. And uh, we partnered with some hiring partners as well uh, with, yeah, with good uh, blockchain startups. And uh, yeah, we just trained them to uh, crack their interviews and land their first job in Web3. Very nice. Uh, and, uh, was that recruitment happening within India or uh, there were other uh, the countries as well? It was like a global pool of candidates. Yeah, it was actually a global pool and uh, it was uh, mainly the countries were UK, US and India. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, they have a good community. Uh, mm-hmm. As I can see right now, I'm, I'm still in touch with the founders and um, yeah, it, it has been, uh, I, I guess I worked with them around for five or six months and yeah, it was just, I made great bonds there and mm-hmm. uh, it was like, yeah, really fun working with them. Right. And also Calyptus is doing such a fantastic work because um, I was having a conversations with some of my colleagues in the space and the biggest challenge the rec- in recruiting uh, the, the candidates that the want to transition from Web2 to Web3, the biggest challenge is that their skill set in Web2 is not entertained in Web3 space, layer one, layer two. It's so hard for them to transition. So this is a struggle a lot of people are facing. And we need more and more projects like Calyptus who can help and shape that career uh, for, for people who are so passionate about and thrilled about uh, and setting, putting their mark or to, to make their mark in Web3 uh, space. That's what that was an, an, another exciting experience. Cool. Yeah. So tell us more about your other internships or the other projects that you were working on in parallel. Sure. It's so a, um, it's, a whole, it's a lot of diverse. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I had this um, bug in me that I wanted to work on multiple projects, <laughs> but um, yeah, if and... you can do it, if you can use the time yeah. in a right way, I think there are several opportunities to look out there Definitely. for your own development. Certainly. Yeah. Definitely. Tell us more. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, like uh, parallel from parallel with the uh, Calyptus, I I was working with a DAO that was uh, Nifty Dreams DAO, 
and uh, it was uh, basically focused on uh, helping artists from uh, different different small towns all over the world and uh, it was also a us based startup and i worked with them i guess for 8 9 months i suppose <laughs> and it was um, uh, there i was uh, uh, i was the uh, technology lead uh, in the startup and yeah it was uh, really fun working uh, uh, with the founder uh, and there i it was like uh, th that startup actually taught me how to you know do things like in one day it wow. was all like that and uh, like we had uh, launch dates uh, you know very frequently and uh, like the founder was really really i mean he still is uh, he's really really creative and uh, he just came up with uh, really really cool ideas and uh, yeah we had we just had to ship it in very few number of days so it yeah. really taught me how to you know work in yeah. uh, in really short time and yeah. it was fun actually like you know just uh working <laughs> uh yeah. But, and, yeah um and Shruti, the name of this uh, DAO is nft dreams DAO. yeah yeah okay and uh, tell us a bit about the use case for nft dreams DAO. and and i i do see that here in in this project you have received a lot of product management experience as well from yeah. initiation to releasing uh, and they were they were quick releases to, to the market of different yeah features or enhancements that you must be working on so yeah, give us a bit of a context on NFT Dreams DAO. So uh, the DAO was basically for the artists and um, it was uh, about like uh, pushing uh, tr uh, artists from uh, small towns who don't oh, know about oh, NFTs. Right. And uh -huh, okay. uh, which yeah. you already covered it or before. <laughs> oh, okay, right, right. So you already covered that. Yeah. So yeah, so, it was basically oh, to right. educate them more and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like exhibiting their arts and different different yeah. exhibitions and right. uh, bringing them to projects so like we used to partner with the different different companies that would like uh, for example a sneaker company that would put an nft art over the sneakers and then some royalties of uh, those sales would get, uh, would go back to the artists so it was uh, like a really creative model that i uh, got to work with and uh, yeah definitely if uh, i would get a chance i would uh, cross uh, my paths with them in future interesting and uh, yeah so i'm thinking that um um so with the nft dream style um it was a very fast-paced uh environment and yeah. you were working on several different components at the same time so were there uh, so as you already had some experience uh, working in the similar niche were there new learnings that came out or what would you say were the new learnings or skill set that you incorporated in your uh, experience from, from there working. were there were actually like significant learnings uh, for me because um, from the start I've always been a backend developer and I've uh, like strictly worked on uh, like typical code base and like just creating APIs and databases and stuff. But uh, in the startup, uh, because yeah, like the whole product was under us and uh, like uh, there was uh, one senior guy who was helping me. And yeah, he was also really cool. He has good humor. <laughs> so yeah, it was fun working with him too. And um, it was uh, like, uh, for me, uh, like I got a lot of front end tasks in that startup. And I was actually scared of uh, front end uh, because oh, uh, yeah, I was really bad at uh, like designing UIs and stuff <laughs> and, you know, implementing those. So, but yeah, like that gave me a lot of confidence in that space as well. So like, yeah, I mean, uh, I won't say I'm an expert in UI now, but uh, yeah, like I, I could work on it if uh, I had to. Very nice. So can we say that even blockchain has full full stack developers? Definitely, um, definitely. Yeah? There okay. is uh, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, opportunities for full stack developers out there. A lot. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So, wow. So let's move on to your next uh, excursion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. After Calyptus, uh, like actually, meanwhile, um, I was uh, also like just it was just for my personal growth. It wasn't uh, like uh, my job or something. So I was uh, streaming on Creator or Club, and um, it was it's a streaming platform that uh, allows various creators for with different different topics. It doesn't have to be strictly Web three, but uh, like other topics like design or front end or like any topic that you are you think you are good at. So you can just come and stream and uh, like it would be a live one and people can join in and they can ask questions. So it was like that. 
So just like YouTube Live uh, has it. So it was a really fun platform. Uh, they partnered with the uh, Learn and Earn tokens. So they had this model that if you join some creator stream, so you would uh, earn uh, some Learn and Earn tokens, which you can later use to either have one on one, one, -on -one chat with the creator, or you can have uh, your profile reviewed by that creator. So it had that utility. So yeah, it was really uh, like, yeah, it, uh, it got me, uh, a really good audience of my own and I great uh, I made great connections over there it was a really fun part of you know getting myself out there and uh, yeah like <laughs> the stage fear that was remaining it uh, yeah it just vanished and uh, yeah it actually got me a really good confidence of uh, speaking in front of camera and um, yeah build my uh, audience and yeah uh, just it was a great Did experience you... interesting and so do you still contribute to creators platform uh um, not right now uh it was uh, like i think it was last year for i guess two three months uh but yeah after that i i quit for some time because yeah uh like yeah i, I need i need some space so yeah. but yeah if i if i had to do it again i i'll be soon planning to again jump on it nice okay and, t and tell us about the neon evm so for yeah, sure <laughs> that's the latest experience that i see in your uh, from linkedin Yes, yeah, so Neon uh, EVM is my current gig and uh, it's an uh, incredible product that is uh, a solution for uh, Solidity developers who want to scale their Ethereum dApps on Solana. So Ethereum is an EVM based chain and uh, like you can code on Solidity over there and there are a lot of EVM based chains that uh, you know, dApps have adopted as a multi-chain platforms. Uh, but when they think of uh, like going towards solana because uh, like solana is a really incredible blockchain that offers like high tps and uh, great scalability and you know great infrastructure but uh, yeah uh, because of the language difference and you know evm compatibility uh, they have to like they have to convert their whole code into a language that solana uses that is rust and uh, yeah definitely i would agree that it's a, a tedious task so uh, neon evm is basically uh, evm uh, that is built over Solana. And uh, we are uh, offering a proxy that uh, Solidity developers can use, which is EVM based, and uh, they can directly deploy their Solidity code over Solana without even changing a single line of code. Fantastic. So, yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, when I, yeah. yeah. When I heard about the product, I immediately like I was like, wow, this is incredible because uh, I also wanted to build on Solana for a long time. And I tried learning Rust, but I mean, Rust is a really good language, uh, like coming to security point of view or anything. And some frameworks like Anchor has also made it quite easier to like jump onto Rust now. But um, yeah, but yeah, it was like a, a Java for me <laughs> in Web2. So um, yeah, I couldn't uh, like I couldn't pursue that. So, uh, like, yeah, when I came across this product and I was like, wow, yeah, I can now build on Solana. So I started with them in December 2022. And, um, yeah, I left Calyptus. And then I got to work with Neon EVM. So there currently I'm working as, uh, like, in two roles. One is integrations engineer and the other one is DevRel. So the first one is a technical role where I help uh, with the... Uh, technical integrations with uh, D apps that want to build with us and uh, they want to go live with us. And for as a DevRel, I create uh, tutorials for Neon AVM. I uh, go to events and uh, yeah, like just surely on AVM everywhere I go. Very <laughs> so, nice. And I was looking at their project um, for, directly from your LinkedIn profile and I see there, yeah. there is a good amount of funding that they have received and the support they have received. Definitely. From the and this is a very interesting project and I would like to talk more with you about, you know, the, the deeper infrastructure of it, the layer two, layer one solutions. I think that's another conversation I would have. I would love to have in another episode. Or, for sure. or yeah, because I think it, it will go more deeper. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. Yeah. Two. Um, uh, yeah, because I'm learning from you, um, this neon EVM and interoperability of, um, yeah, uh, of, with, with Solana is, is something really interesting and I am learning right now and I'm, gotta, I'm kind of getting to, yeah, read as much yeah. as I can and get more comfortable with layer two solutions. But my journey started with cryptocurrencies. I initially started with investments um, and then gradually I got into 
finding out about oh blockchain that's the technology and you know so many other benefits and advantages that come comes out of decentralization so yes i'm still in the early stages and the young folks like you are are facilitating me to learn as well yeah so it's cool so what what else would you like to share about neon evm uh, something that you would like to Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, uh, s- um, uh, so um, in Neon EVM, first of all, yeah, I there's a there's a really great team that I'm working with, and I mean, yeah, I love my colleagues, I love my seniors. Uh, oh, my so yeah, <laughs> it's been really interesting to work with them. And uh, yeah, there are uh, still uh, some job openings that are currently in Neon. So if someone wants to apply there, please go to neonlabs.org website and apply. And uh, for the founders out there, uh, we have launched our early builders program that is allowing uh, many startups uh, some grants. And um, you can just come, you can build with us, and I'll be there to technically support you. Nice. So yeah, like uh, these are the two things that I wanted to share about Neon. And uh, yeah, I'm just like, uh, it's a really great startup to work with. And right. yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, so this is a this is an interesting project and as an integration engineer there is always new things to learn right yeah. new things to learn in these languages and the platform every day there is something new coming in there are always competitors new startups coming in so what is your mantra to keep yourself up to speed with or you know if you're stuck in uh, or there is a gap somewhere how how do you seek help or who do you reach out to and yes yeah, just so um yeah definitely like working mm-hmm. as an integrations engineer it's like uh working with multiple startups at one time mm-hmm. and um it's actually a plus point for me because it helps me uh you know reach out to some projects that i would individually may not be able to because uh, if i'm working with neon evm so and they want to uh, you know like integrate with us so i'll be there to support them i'll be able to chat with them and basically grow my own network with them so uh yeah it helps me a lot to like build connections like that and um definitely i get uh stuck with uh, some integrations project uh like yeah currently i'm stuck with one now <laughs> uh but um yeah i just uh like uh uh, as I said, fun colleagues. <laughs> so yeah. like, yeah, we we sit together, we solve problems and um, yeah, we, we take breaks. And, uh, but yeah, like whole, the, whole of the team is quite supportive and uh, it's, yeah, it's just never too late to integrate anything. Exactly. So yeah, we just, we just and, and this, go along. This whole, yeah, and this whole system is a community-based system where everybody is supporting each yeah. other and their learning, development and growth. And where is your team base? Are they, are they in the States or? Um, uh, so currently they are based in uh, Portugal. Uh, okay. So some of the employees are there. The wise, yeah, many, uh, most of them are working remotely. Okay, nice, great. Should they-